Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to unlock all the raids in Blocks Roots. So without further ado, let's begin the video. Now, there are 12 raids in total, and the first 10 are easily the easiest to get. So, these raids are the Flame Raid, Ice Raid, Quake Raid, Light Raid, Dark Raid, String Raid, Rumble Raid, Magma Raid, Butter Raid, and Sand Raid. So those are the easiest to get, and in order to unlock them, you have to be level 1100. Uh, so if you want to host raids, then start grinding. Now, when you talk to the mysterious scientist, and let's just say there's something that says locked, um, like below normal raids there's a little like button that says locked for me i've unlocked a do raid so it says advanced for me but if you have an unlocked do raid or phoenix raid then this will say locked now if you click advanced then right here it should say phoenix raid and do raid but if you only have do raid or if you only have phoenix raid then one will say locked and I have an unlocked Phoenix raid as I'm not bothered getting 400 mastery on Phoenix, but I probably will start grinding soon. So I'm going to be teaching you how to unlock both Do Raid and Phoenix raid. So first off, in order to unlock Do Raids, you need to get a red key, and the red key is obtained from killing Do King. And in order to spawn Do King in, you need to collect a cake chalice. And in order to get a cake chalice, you need 10 conjured cocoa and a god's chalice. God chalices can be found from elite NPCs and they are a 1% drop rate. Elite NPCs spawn every 10 minutes and you can get the quest for elite NPCs from the elite hunter at Castle at the Sea. So if you talk to him and he says, I don't have anything for you right now, come back later. This means that you have to wait 10 minutes in order for an elite NPC to spawn. Once an elite NPC has spawned, it will say, we've heard some news about someone roaming around. You can, he was last seen at either Port Town, Floating Turtle, Hydro Island, or Great Tree. So, once you've got that detail, you need to head over to your boat and get. So, all you need to do is you need to head over to one of those locations and find him by using Observation Archie and like roam around the whole island. Once you find someone, uh, then you have to kill them, and there's a one percent drop rate. For the god's chalice now the second part to getting the cake chalice is to get conjured cocoa now conjured cocoa is very hard to get i don't know the drop rate but i have 19 of it so i'm just gonna really quickly head over there Once you have reached Sea of Treats, you want to head over to the like place with the mountains or the chocolate land or the cocoa land. Just I just call it the one the island with the mountains. Uh, and this island has the conjured cocoa NPCs or the cocoa NPCs. Either way, um, they're the cocoa warriors. They're level two thousand three hundred, and there is. I don't really know the drop rate, but the drop rate will be up on the screen um, for the Conjured Cocoa. And when I was grinding for Conjured Cocoa, it was like, I don't know, I got like one every like 20 NPCs. It was a very long grind. But I eventually got enough Cocoa to host a do raid, and then I thought, why don't I just keep going since I'm getting a lot of mastery? So I did. and. I have 19 Conjured Cocoa, which isn't a lot considering some max level players, but my level isn't as high as 2300. So once you have the Conjured Cocoa and the God's Chalice, you need to head over to the Sweet Crafter at the island where you get the Conjured Cocoa, and he will be right here. He will say, do you think you can handle the Doking? Say yes. 
Very well. I can exchange a god's chalice and 10 quadrilla cocoa for something worthy of him. So once you press trade, he will give you a cake chalice. With the cake chalice, you need to head over to um, Cookie Island or Whole Cake. One of the two, I forgot which island it is. It's this island right here. And you need to head over up to here. And in order to find the NPC, he'll be located right up here. The NPC will be located right here, and the NPC's name is Drip Mama. Uh, kind of a weird name, to be honest. And Drip Mama will say, Hey, you need to defeat 500 NPCs until the portal opens. So now all we need to do is we need to kill 500 NPCs on this island. So it can be any NPC, it can be cookie crafters, or it can, it can literally just be any NPC. Once you have defeated 500 NPCs, then you have to go back to Drip Mama. Hold up. And then they will say, uh, you have to put in a cake chalice, or a sweet chalice, whichever one you're using. For this, you're using a cake chalice, and it will say, a dimension worthy of a god has appeared, or something like that. And then the portal behind the house will open up and you can go through it and you will be teleported into a realm where the Do King will be located. Do King requires about five five max level Buddhas in order to defeat. Very strong. Like five with five uh awakened max level awakened Buddhas uh without dying, because if you don't want to lose bounty, then then I recommend having that many buddhas and if you did enough damage to doking you will be rewarded with a red key now in order to claim your red key and get the reds you need to head over to an npc which is the right over here then you need to get into this building and the door with the red key will be right here so all you need to do is you need to pull out your red key, walk on the door and it should unlock and he'll be the cake scientist. If you talk to him, thanks, do you need my help with anything? He'll just say, say yes. Would you like to buy a dough microchip? So you can you can pretty much unlock dough raids once you have uh, used the red key. And if you glitch in using shift lock and Which I'm using shift lock just like how I do, then he will say you are not ready. So that doesn't work. I've tried it. Sadly, it doesn't work. If it did, then level 1,500 kids will have dough raids. So that is how to unlock dough raid. Now to unlock Phoenix raid. Okay. Now in order to unlock Phoenix raid, you need to get 400 mastery on Phoenix fruit, which is quite a pain considering how hard Phoenix fruit is. To get. I have it in my inventory right here. This is, well, never mind. I don't have the Phoenix fruit in my inventory. I was gonna show you what it looks like, but it turns out I don't have it. Now, the Phoenix fruit is not that good when unawakened, but when awakened, it is very good. So I recommend, if you're going to unlock Phoenix raids, I recommend getting a friend or some random person to help you awaken Phoenix. That way, getting 400 mastery on Phoenix will be a lot easier. Now the best way to get mastery is obviously to just kill bosses. So now you might be wondering, how do I find the NPC to unlock Phoenix raids? Well, follow me. The NPC will be right here and it is called the Six Scientist. He will say, hey, man, I was wounded in battle. Can you please help me? So then you say attempt to heal, and then it says you currently have no way of healing the man. Now in order to heal him, I'm pretty sure you use Phoenix's regeneration flames or something. I don't know, it's something like that. But you need 400 mastery, and once you have 400 mastery, you should be able to help him, and you will be able to unlock Phoenix raids. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. See ya!